Review, Mercedes Vision EQXX is a benchmark for future EVs, and it's fun to drive. If you follow Formula E or any kind of motor racing, really, you know that behind the drivers, teams, and cars that win the races, telemetry is what drives everything. Telemetry channels live data from a race car's components to map energy in and energy out, velocity, and how driver inputs come into play among many other potential pieces of information at various points around a track. The information holds lessons for the driver, diagnostic tools for the car, and helps show the engineering team how to make the car better. This past week, at Mercedes amending and proving grounds in Germany's Black Forest region, I got a chance not just to drive the EQXX but to get a glimpse of the methodology the engineering team has been applying to this car. During my drive evaluation my driving efficiency results were held up against those from an engineering benchmark. Yes, this is the futuristic Vision EQXX, the most efficient car Mercedes-Benz has ever built. It covered 746 miles on a single charge in April, running from Stuttgart, Germany, to Silverstone, England, with extra distance to spare for some victory laps at the end. Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX Prior to my run, I got to know the course with a run in a very special Mercedes EQB the team calls Emma, a nod and a wink to MMA, the platform for volume production compact and midsize EVs, arriving mid-decade that all the information from EQXX is being fed into. Although it simply looks like an EQB on the outside, Emma's battery, engine, inverter, and cooling system are identical to what's used in the EQXX, and since there is only one EQXX, Mercedes tests any small changes to the propulsion system here first. A lift of the hatch reveals that the back seat has been removed and replaced by a board full of sensors and components. Yes, things have broken and there have been incidents, but the one-off EQXX and the rest of its special materials and components have been kept safe. Vision EQXX project manager Multi Sievers notes that this is the only rear-wheel drive EQB because it had to match the EQXX's layout. Single motor production versions of the EQB, for Europe, not due to the US, are front-wheel drive. Mercedes EQB with EQXX battery and drive systems. In the EQB, Mercedes engineers can stretch the range of the vehicle to more than 700 kilometers, 435 miles, with the 100 kWh battery pack. Sievers says that figure emphasizes the point that just having the best possible electric drivetrain isn't enough. The proving grounds are by no means flat or straight. The ribbon of road through a former tank proving facility that offers a route that's smoothly surfaced but includes various terrain changes, some roundabouts, and several speed zones ranging from 50 km per hour to 100 km per hour with speeds enforced by vehicle monitoring. They watched us. Over the 16 kilometers, nearly 10 mile, loop, I averaged 12.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, or 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour, which is close to double the efficiency I saw in the EQB 300 I'd just driven. Then it was time to get into the EQXX. Although technically a concept car, it feels entirely drivable and doesn't have the brittle show car feel I've noted from concepts in the past. I pulled the door strap made of bio-steel fiber, and the door made of glass fiber reinforced plastic and polyamide foam closed with a reassuring thunk. Then I adjusted the seat, upholstered in a mushroom-based vegan leather alternative and got quite comfortable in the EQXX, noteworthy as I'm a long-legged 6'6". Driving the EQXX didn't require learning a new interface, the switchgear and shifter stock are in about the same places as in the EQB, while the haptic controls in the steering wheel hub are merely a simplified new generation of the current layout. The most radical change was the super long one piece 47.5 inch display standing atop the entire low set dash. Closer to the field of focus, with a more natural contrast level, I found it far easier on the eyes than the EQS's hyperscreen. We set out and heard the whine of the motor and were of the drive systems. Mercedes hasn't put a lot of effort into NVH yet in this one-off, for obvious reasons, but it's actually quite good. The body feels rigid, and the steering remarkably normal and communicative. The EQXX's lower body is made of special low CO2 recycled steel, and the entire rear portion of the EQXX is the largest aluminum structural casting done yet by Mercedes-Benz, with the damper domes cast in, but this futuristic pedigree doesn't give itself away. Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX One clue as to the car's advanced design was the almost complete lack of wind noise. 
the EQXX cuts through the air with a remarkable 0.17 CD. Its slim, specially developed Bridgestone Terranza Eco tires on 20-inch forged magnesium wheels don't generate all that much road noise, either. Little much else word underneath, either. The cabin is kept cool with a modern climate system driven partly from a 12-volt system that's fed mostly by a rooftop solar panel. A cooling-on-demand approach down below funnels air past the air-cooled battery pack only when necessary, while a liquid cooling system manages only the power electronics and motor. Mercedes says it can keep pack temperatures not much above ambient temperature, but it hasn't detailed the cells inside the nearly 100 kWh pack quite yet. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.